To begin the clean oil bypass filtration system installation, you will need the following basic tools. A half inch drill, a 25 64 inch drill bit, a quarter inch drill bit, an eighth inch drill bit, pipe sealant, Allen wrenches both metric and imperial, and wrenches in the following sizes, 3 quarter inch, 9 sixteenths and 7 sixteenths, half inch, and 17 millimeters. The parts needed for the clean oil kit include the clean oil bowl, the sample port, mounting bracket and bolts, two braided hoses for pressure and return, two fittings for the bottom of the bowl, one for pressure in, the other for return, two fittings for the pressure in and return on the engine, two 90 degree fittings for one end of each hose. Wire loom, plastic wrap to protect the hoses. On the Cummins engine, it is necessary to mount the clean oil bowl behind the cab. Never mount the bowl to the engine block. Always mount it to the frame. Since there is already a hole available, only one hole needs to be drilled. Position the bracket in place and mark the location for the hole. If needed, drill a pilot hole and then use a larger bit. Bolt the bracket in place, making sure the bolts are tight. Install the two fittings with washer seals to the inlet and outlet ports on the bottom of the bolt. Carefully tighten them with a wrench. The sample port is next. Apply sealant to the threads. Do not tighten it all the way. The sample port will be tightened completely later. Position the bowl in the bracket and secure each side tightly with the two bolts. It is now okay to tighten the sample port on the top of the bowl. Two engine fittings are installed next. The pressure fitting is 14 millimeter and the return fitting is 12 millimeter. Before they can be installed, the engine plugs need to be removed. The pressure plug is located on the driver's side of the engine, seen here. The return is below it, seen here. Remove the pressure plug using an Allen wrench. Then remove the return plug. The two fittings can now be threaded into place. Be careful to not cross thread them. Use a wrench to tighten them. Prepare the braided hose by covering them with wire loom plastic wrap. Install each hose one at a time to prevent accidental crossover. Attach a 90 degree fitting to one end of each hose. The end without the 90 degree fitting can be attached to the pressure side of the engine. 
tighten the connection with a wrench. Feed the hose underneath the truck to the filter bowl. Attach the 90 to the inlet side on the bottom of the bowl. Tighten it with a wrench. Attach the second hose to the return on the engine and tighten the connection. Feed the hose under the truck as well. Attach the end with a 90 degree fitting on the outlet side on the bottom of the bowl. Make sure that all connections are tight. Secure both hoses beneath the truck with zip ties. Use as many as needed. Apply the 800 number sticker to the bowl. Start the engine and let it idle for several minutes. Check all connections for any leaks. After a few minutes, place your hand on the filter bowl to check that it feels warm to indicate oil is flowing.